Um, thank you, Marta, for your introduction. Um, I appreciate this whole event. Uh, it's amazing here in, in Basel. And uh, I want to show you today some proof of work um, of Magnolia connecting to Adobe InDesign to uh, get your print uh, printing brochures, uh, posters, whatever you need to do um, live with or feed it with live data. So let's dive into. First of all, I need to um, thank you, uh, thank Mark Autre from indiescripts.com. He did an amazing job on the development of uh, the ID Extensor framework. I'm heavily using this um, for this proof of work, and it's also a reliable script um, that works um, perfectly for this situations. We will come to this and what it does later on. So first, uh, wait, that's a wrong slide. First of all, the original idea um, why I started uh, this journey was that I have a private project, which I'm actually working on, uh, a release of a book, um, which will be um, released as a print product and also as an interactive website. And um, this uh, will be um, provided by Magnolia. So we will have all the data inside Magnolia. And this should also feed up um, the print and the InDesign script. So as you might know, about the systems, about the Bertelsmann is uh, one of the parts of the uh, bigger group Bertelsmann. So Bertelsmann is uh, the printing solutions um, are in our DNA. And um, yeah, this is... Uh, should, should I? That's all good. <laughs> Sorry for that. Um, and yeah, what what should I what should I show you? Um, so uh, since I have no uh, ability to show you um, the the um, actual pr uh, project and the data behind it, I thought it makes sense to prove my work with an online ticket shopping uh, solution which has a website and they want to uh, yeah, print out posters for their concerts. So what will we do? So we have an event app in Magnolia, which um, should um, hold all the data, the text and the imagery that we need to use. We also have um, the uh, website that we want to feed with all this data and we want to print uh, individual posters out of uh, InDesign then. So the simplified workflow looks something like that. So we have the data in Magnolia, we have InDesign as a layout and we have the print delivery from our printing house. We have in InDesign, we have some possibilities out of the box. We will not use them because uh, in our case, they are yeah, not, not uh, what we wanted to have. So we want a more automated solution. So there is an XML and a CSV import. And um, there is also uh, the ability to, to load lots of data in there. But uh, yeah, as I said, it's, it's um, not what we want. We want to have the data directly from Magnolia and not import and export them. Then we have also um, the issue that we have some HTML, which uh, is formatted inside Magnolia with specific editors. And we also want to re-import the data from our database. So what do we need? First of all, we need a content app inside Magnolia. Uh, this is the events app that will hold the data, the imagery, and the text. We need a delivery endpoint, which is quite standard in Magnolia. And we need the ID Extensor framework, which uh, makes it possible to get JSON data um, for InDesign, to get images uh, from, from the web. And this is just the helper uh, utility we, we need. In InDesign, we need a script. A script is based on extend script. That's kind of JavaScript based um, syntax. And then we need also an 
dialog where you can select your actual event and you want to have the full formatting of um, the HTML that you get. So let's see it in action. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. So we have Magnolia, quite standard. The only thing that I set up for this was this event app. And inside this event app, you have uh, several folders and also some um, concerts and uh, other things uh, which holds data. I mean, in the end, it could be anything. And um, from there on, um, there are uh, also images and we can store them here. Then um, I can show you also, this is just a typical light deployment or light module we will use here. So this is a whole dialog that I set up. And then we also have a REST endpoint, which holds the data for, or gets, this is an entry point for us to get all the data from, from Magnolia. Inside InDesign, we uh, then have a script. This is a script I developed, and um, I will also show this later on. And if I click here and run the script, it does the following. It shows me a dialog, and I can then choose one of the um, uh, concerts or events that I have in my event database. So I, for example, choose Oktoberfest here, and then we will hopefully see soon that there uh, are text boxes and imageries um, loaded from Magnolia directly into my um, InDesign document. This takes a while, the imagery uh, to download, because these are printer, printing resolutions, so also big size images. And you see, now we have all the uh, content that we need, and um, we can also get all the data from an existing um, uh, document, for example, here. This is the same. I built this up um, as, as a quick preview with a little bit of more design work. And what I also can do, I can run the script and select another event, for example, this Elvis Festival. And uh, this will then load all the data into the current developed and uh, layouted um, uh, web, uh, uh, poster. And uh, also it can uh, deliver this to the website. So also this takes a while, but um, after a while, you see automatically that all this um, imagery and text are also changed. And also the HTML, which we will have here, you see already that this HTML is formatted. So you have uh, italic fonts and um, bold fonts here. And um, this will the same for the uh, new image, which hopefully loads. Um, it takes really long, actually, but now we have it. So here you see as well, we have all this uh, imagery, we have uh, the text and so on. So uh, for the uh, text, I use some, some uh, tricks here because inside, um, inside InDesign, you have the ability to use grab functions to um, make it possible to identify certain HTML tags and then create um, specific bold uh, italic fonts for that. So you have a bit of uh, layouting here as well. So you can always change it if you need this. Also change the font or anything else is no problem. So let's get to the script. Let's see. So we have a simple script. This loads all the data from Magnolia here. Then it creates a dialog. It will show the dialog. It prompts me this whole list. After that, I can download the specific item from Magnolia based on the filtering uh, from, from the endpoint. And from there on, I am loading all the boxes here, set the boxes, add an image, add all the frames and um, the text inside. 
And then I do a couple of um, nasty uh, parse HTML uh, things here to get all the HTML working and um, to a format that, that InDesign can, can use. And from there on, we go back to the presentation. Ah, no. Again? Okay. So now you tell me. Hopefully, you see my face as well. No, you don't. So, technical issues here. That's not the first one. So, conclusion. Um, we have uh, tested that it works to get the um, whole workflow done. We have all the data inside um, InDesign. We can uh, complete the whole story. Um, we have the ability to uh, extend this whole um, solution with more filtering functionalities or additional um, uh, content inside uh, InDesign or inside Magnolia. And hopefully with that, uh, we can also try to reduce uh, the amount of copy pasting from one database to another. That's it, I think. Um, hopefully that everything works. If you have any questions, you can always contact me or in the later um, Q&A session at, what was the date? 3 p.m.? 3.50. 3.50, you can ask me anything about that. Thank you.